distance. Rolls takes fight. Feeder tries to hold his position. Eventually does peak forward alongside NBQ. TMB with one decent pick back. Him and Rolls will be dropping back to trades for Garnier to keep it at a three on three and back off to the back side because he's the lone defender of the B side. Needs to call in for rotations. Meanwhile, Valencio pushes. There is a backstab from Borup though. He could catch this bomb carrier out towards lane control. Here in a footsteps information called by his teammates. There's the headshot. Valencio with a turnaround against Burr from Sky. He'll try and enter back into the A side, but now that he's getting sandwiched by the T side, flashes in against him. Footsteps hurting. Gates is still found in the headshot. Regardless, there for backup. As it will be a pistol really came back. He's been able to move to a high tier two competitive point. A shot from Regali picking up the frag against Valencio. I need it though. Look at the AWP. Regali is so posted up for this, but Anakes sees the shoulder, gets the kill, looks for his backup, and then he spotted Borup. Indeed, he adjusts, but the flick is overcooked, and Borup finds the trade. At least Anakes is trying to make something there towards the top of B. Bird from Sky is hoping that MVQ comes back in towards the elbow control. What he doesn't realize is how much T presence there is towards top lane. Barp engaging though, the FAMAR swapped out to the AK, getting Daito. Also inbound here from Borup, might not matter. TMB looking for the fight, gets MBQ. One on three now for FIDA. The NBA just back turns, but at least FIDA has a window opportunity where we can get that trade together. Now we're going to work into the site. Up here's him. He's going to wait, make noise, force him back in the end. Actually, he does sneak in that bomb plant, so there is a little bit of cash available kind for Eklot. Eklot, like the pace up here to top of Ram. Spray back, not connecting. TMB does get Valencio. Daitor is going to get forced away by the incident. getting down to the bottom of Ram. AK posted. Gets the kill on Burr from Sky. He jumps around the corner, gets picked up of his own right. Nades on the noose of damage. Regali facing with the P250, getting his pick back and bringing it to evens. But they need to focus on the bomb site here. Stick in, Mac 10 in for NBQ. Smoke on the bomb faces. TMB get on the defuse for Rawls. Regali plays back up. Daitor has no idea. He's focused fire. He's caught Rawls at the right time. Dealt with the defuser. And got the first round for Eklot. MBQ is going to start using some U2 out to the mid control, but everybody else is into lane. Oh, shot missed out for Anakes and Rawls will pick up the opening. They're going to press forward. Magali flashed off the angle. We'll have to reposition. It's discovered. Quick face. The flick to die for is lightning fast. Vida falls the same and Borat provides backup. Regali's looking in for the triple, but Borat takes a double back instead. Very. It's plausible, but here and now he's just arrived for our entry player. It does look for the opening kill of Valencio. Indeed, the AWP strikes back and kicks it off. Regali's creeping closer. M4 in his hands this time, swapping out that orb to Burp from Sky being low HP. Borup is the man to get the opening or the follow up kill on the B side. MB Even Rouse tucked into the corner, jiggling down, widening up. Bomb's going to get dropped. Daito looking to trade, but it just doesn't happen. Rouse gets two and still stays on 100 points of health. Back to 89, Rawls moving closer. AK spray is not on, but Borup's there for backup. One, two, three kills found. NBQ takes one back in turn. Regali's on site. NBQ just pick up the AW. Body block would have been heard there in the Molotov. Gets caught off by Anakis, though, thinking there might still be someone coming in from Donut. He's right to assume so. But alongside the kills coming in from Anakis, Feeder's going to follow Sue. Flames. Nice nades on. Oh, this is dangerous. Rawls going straight in, flashes forward. Anakis defends. At least NBQ will drop. It depends if he sees that lane player who's his way back in there. Good kill. Start off. And just knowing exactly what's going on. Eklot. Regali, is he going to get blinded off? Is Rawls going to get detected? Swing back feeder. Gives up the ghost. Two more CTs to try hold it back here. Six seconds. Bomb. Not even on the site here. Bird from Sky and TMB chime up. No time left. Valencio's picked up with a wall bang. And Eklot just takes too much time. Even Anakes is down after the clock. Regalian's all posted to receive him, meanwhile. Jump face, but Regalian doesn't fall for it. Just take a leg shot back to Anakes. So decent effort from his own part. Nice nade. And the peak against Vido. Face back in with Borup's support. And the B site holds strong. Yeah, wants something again. to try and contest against the Flames. The TMB firing through smokes, getting Daitor next. Facing from Feeder, Tech 9 facing around the corner, gets two kills actually for it. So, advantage back for Eklot, Burp from Sky needs to get that trade in. This round is on now for the T side. And they've got a smoke for the bomb and they've got a backstab for Valencio and CT. All swing in, MBQ with another good pick back, rolls with a trade, Anakes holding. He's going to wait for Valencio, smoke on the bomb, rolls, getting on the defuse. He's at the end of the smoke though, Borup needs to trade it, indeed he does, low HP. Anakes set in for the steal, will take him down after the fact. We'll go up with the bomb. Double digits, but Eklot have given themselves an extra round. Tight or straight in on Bird from Sky. Quick burst of the headshot, kill found it. Looking, gun barrel spotted, but shot too close to hit. Five on three. 
Might be a save for the Flames here to go towards that last round. Back to Donut. Let's start walking out A main. And they just catch the timing. They catch the reposition. And then even put pressure onto the Orpa. That was weapons in is going to be vitally important to them. The AK in for Rolls. Flames from that game oh, yeah. what we see today. Definitely. Nade stack in from the mid control. He's going to try and make it 11-4 anyway. He's on Rolls himself. He will get forced back out to cheat. So the AWP of Anakin is catching Borat. Meanwhile, the bomb will get planted. And that's a good shot, but he might... Smokes up, flashes will be received. He line fires. Valencio mows down two, though. Playing back up. SMG jumps around a corner, but still Anakez holds the kill. And Regali is in a one versus four. As fantastic as he's been, this is a little bit too much to handle. And it will be five for Xlot to turn out the half. He's up to trying to adjust to the crossfire here. Nice footsteps jump again. Going to force the USPs to re-aim. Anakez takes the fight and loses it. Rawls draws first blood. NBQ goosh down. Regali pacing in further. Daito took a little bit of that as well. Plant will be secured, and look at TMB, he's just going to wait for them, bait them back into the B rotation. Get Fida, but not Valencio. Trades from Rolls are struggling, two players looking for this. Valencio is going to get caught out in the end. And now MBQ and Dytor making their way under the bomb site. Barb's going to wait back behind Big Box, bait them further. Great flash, two players blinded. Easy picks for Borup and Rolls. Go in, takes fight, aggressive TMB, can deal with the man and double up to Valencio, his backup that also pushed forward. A fourth man has joined the fray for the CT side on the B play, but TMB's having none of it. MBQ dealt with Anakez and died. Three rounds to go to the end for the Flames. Anakez, however, finding Regali to kick things off here in round 19. Not going to make it easy for them. Tries to send NBQ still holding out in the open here towards mid. We'll take a fight against Bart, which is actually going to win out here. So, two man advantage. Rolls going to try to take it right back to an even standing, and indeed he's successful in that regard. The AWP of Anakes, however, he's not done. Two kills found. Burkham Sky has fallen. Get towards Donut TMB trying to cover that off. Rack angle held. Feeder shoulder bait gives up the ghost. Two on two, flash in for Rawls. Now Anakez does catch TMB, but Valencio's blinded. Three kills for Rawls. Backs up the AWP, hunting for it. Shoulder baits it, a shot not connecting. Rawls swings out, no scope, don't connect either. And Rawls with a quad draw. Trying to look for Valencio, did he see him? I don't know if he did. SMG can swing back, get two kills for it. Going into the AK, but can't quite find the man. Rolls gonna charge up. Meanwhile, mid walks in with the CT forces. Seen several players there on Rolls and TMB's trades. Rolls trying to get out of the way. Caught off by Regali. The AWP plays back up. Two on two. On to Rolls. Five HP for him. The kill comes in, leaving Regali alone. The AWP has seen the one man back towards elbow. Gonna try hunt, but die tour. That's a shot. Molotov to suppress feed. The bombs on his back. He's going to the A site. Slowly creeps around. Back turns. Oh, and Regali lands it. Triple for the one v two. Quick in. M4 taking fire and face feeder and Valencio. Find their frags. Back with his teammates playing back into lane. Dytor's gonna try cut them off. D drops that bomb. Gonna maintain survival here for the Eklot side. TMB does find a trade. It's one more back. A two versus five situation. They've reduced it to four. Make it three. Aggression in from Ramps. Giving up the ghost here. And it might get one. Does get caught off guard. Can't afford to take face anymore. The spray's back against Valencia. Trying their best. But Feeder does get rules in the end. TMB one on three. Gets the first. Molly's back in against the next. Oh, he misses it. He's dealt with by MBQ on the backstab. Holding here it's for the M4's position. And Akez lines him up, knocks him down. Effective. The tight talk. Going to start making an aggressive move. Quite a few players around him, but does deal with TMB with his back turn. Can't deal with Bird from Sky, though, and rolls with the crossfire. Locks out Valencio's flank. Now NBQ's the hero player, Borup. Checks in, kill found, Regali's orb also dealt with, the bomb has been dropped, orb also picked up, and MBQ lands on Bird from Sky. Heroics from one individual, he needed to beat Sky wanted to beat him with pace, MBQ still alive and still looking to frag, does lose the fight to Rouse though. Oh, rolls, so just right there, it felt like it was going to be held by... MPQ hearing the fast footsteps coming up the apartments. Setting ready the USP. Does catch TMB. Do some damage against the next player of Regali. Not quite catching rolls all the way. Got back up also inbound from the brackets controls. MPQ tries to escape towards the site. He's got back up there. Valencio's Julius and three players on rotation. Cut off by Bird from Sky. He gets one before he's traded. 
And now they know that the V players have rotated completely off. Also seen the bomb sent over the rules. We'll get the plant in. Banana defended by Regali, but NBQ quick on the turn. We'll be able to get that kill in. A two on four for the Copenhagen Flames. They'll face together out towards construction and just get decimated by the next two players of the CT side. Triple up for Bar NBQ. Even feeder. Does he get cleared? Apparently not. Kill on the first. Regali focused on his back up there in Dieter. Also, Feeder gets two picks back in. TMB with one responsive out towards Shaw for him. Now trying to act out of the apartments. Gets that first kill. Dieter forced away at low HP. It's three on three. The bomb's on sight. And we'll do it, man. <laughs> okay, he maintains his life, but there's a little bit there. Trying to apply that off the best effect again. First contact in at the mid control. MVQ's pushed down there and does get TMB. Regali, although he sneaks his way in through the smoke and right goes no way. Deep still the SMD detection as well from Sky. Didn't look the right way at the right time. Hey, down by a man in terms of the, the board itself, but three players to go into tube on the defensive. Feeder does isolate rules though, trying to creep in and go for a cheeky play soloed up. Regali and Borup now the two players that remain still. Two on the back of the site. Feed is finally faced in upon Regali's gonna get that kill. And Borup's holding, but Anakes is all his post in. Coming in from spawn though. There's an opportunity in which the bomb could rotate back. And now that Regali's fallen, that's going to have to be the play. If he had been a bit more patient and baited the CTs closer, he could have held them away from the A site. Now the AWP has quickly rotated back to post itself up and catch this cross from Borup as Eklot. Never can flame losing out as a result of that man. advantage gained though from Skies. At least going to try and make amends and find Daitor early on here. He's one well, of this the... is risky because DMB is coming around. In the footsteps though. The Teagle still fires on and does lose his life to the AWP. Valencia does catch one. Regali and Burp from Sky strike back. Get those trades. Get the bomb down on the site soon. Bin drop for the... Yeah, a little bit of flash support from his team. Made Burp from Sky detected. Regali seen to the backside. Borup is the next big concern. Feed has detected. MBQ trades it one on one. Now MBQ's on 3 HP. Regali creeping around the box. Saw oh, the adjustment of the headshots. Fantastic. And MBQ still holds the club. Cool. The question is, is he going to extend? TMB's considering it. Indeed, his back will be turned to Anakez. So advantage sits with Eklot. Anakez turning away, but still pressing. I like the confidence that he's got behind him. Oh, missing the shot, though, in the next face. Back title with a responsive. Holds on to the trades. A fine impact here. Backstabs have locked them away from any rotations. Bomb can go down, but NBQ is quick to trade back to. And Borup is all that remains. One on four. Swing back from Fina. That's one good kill. Title with a responsive. And that's a fifth round on the hero half invest for him. Nice nade stack on Feeder, though. That's a little bit more likely here for the Flames. They've struggled to get these opening picks here in Banana. What about the connection towards Underpass? How's that look? Very nice. Headshot gain against TMB. Daitor now holds the crossfire with MBQ on this B defense. Daitor will drop towards the AK swing back. MBQ with a response to the head of that smoke. Three on three situation. Flashed off position. Borat will finally catch off the headshot to take out the top fragger of the No one overextending at all. There is a Wolfbang shot into Regali, though. Does connect it in the end. Valencio sees the headshot of the next player, trying to adjust back for it, provide support. And now Anakez is back to A. No kit in the buy kit, so no one's got one for a club. Or your battle still won by Anakez, though. He is a serious danger here in mid. Probably they can play the struggle trying to prod around the corner, trying to get aggressive again. Swing forward, they do lose Bird, but Rawls takes one back. Is he aware of Feeder? Perhaps he's not a to go for that kind of style of aggression. Anakez is still posted. The shoulder attempt from Rawls trying to bait the man in. TMB is forced to trade and Valencio is away. And Valencio has to deal with Bora. No! Oh! What has happened there? Bora has been able to get the 180. Feeder, you're going to check the site instead. TMB takes some damage and the kill still come in for Feeder and MBQ. As they get on site quick, Question hold the is, Can they go further? Can they get that round win? Anakin slowly creeping. TMB utility in his hand. The bomb dropped to Norm. Borup can't swing back for the trade. MBQ will burn, and Borup even falls to him the same. I can't believe MBQ wins that fight. Borup makes the right call there. Over aggress because he hears him in the flames and still loses out. Earth from Sky can get a trade back. Can't seem to break it. Another cubby set up here for Feeder. Going unchecked again. The flames. Decimated by Eklot this time. This a bomb site. They've got NBQ struggling a bit with a spray. Runs out of ammo. The USP's pulled out against Ross. They still can't capitalize upon that kill. Finally, chaos ensues and Valencio tries to come out on top. But Borup trades back on the P250. Two on two. The bomb plant is at least secured. Eklot have been good on retakes though, Jay. That's something that we've got to consider. 
Slight gap on the left-hand side of that smoke dive got boosted up. Valencia's gonna get caught incendiary on the side. Zelpa from Sky, lining up damage. Kills are getting found. That nade sets the feeder. Should get the pick. In fact, he holds the clutch with the engagement oh, portion. instead. MBQ's actually rotated to keep three on B. Good shot on Borup. That's Anakez again, a consistent entry fryer, it seems, in this AWP for Eklot. Valencio does get caught by Bird from Sky. Now leaving the AWP is the only thing to defend the site for now. So the M4 feeder sprays back. Roll's going to get caught. Four on three. Daitor drops one more. Bird from Sky forced to get the bomb plant in. Just for the money bonus with nothing else. His backup is all the way back at the A site, though. Copenhagen Flames going to concede. the weapons here. AWP just keeps on fragging you. At this point for Copenhagen Flames, I wouldn't be shocked if they just stopped trying to go towards mid. The whole effort has been shut down by a single man and AWP. At least Burke from Sky trades it back on Daitor, but Anak is so quick to rotation. He's getting another pick. He's looking in for even more rolls. Next up on the chopping block around the corner here at the half wall. And more players right behind him. The AWP swing, connects it, sees more rolls finally with a trade back. But it's a three on two for Eklot here. Crossfire's lot, they've got to commit towards that beast. And even then, the bomb in the crossfire. Two on two situation. AWP, two individuals. He's wary that the backstab might have completed itself. They'll swing together, coordinated from Eklot. Well timed. TMB couldn't even get a shot forward. HE's back up. NBQ closes. Into this matchup from here, Anakez. Shot on from Birth of Sky. Once again, they peak. Once again, they get picked up. Over at Dark. M4 standing. T side players making their moves in, and they will catch feeder back to a 4 on 4, but they haven't cleared this position. They haven't cleared out the entire bomb site. TMB is going down for it. At least Borup has caught Anakez. And looking in for Valencio. Valencio trades it. Daitor responded to 2 on 2. And the second CT okay. very far. Kit on him, trying to get to the bomb. No smoke for the defuse. Rawls has caught NBQ. Regali swinging, just being seen, but the kill comes back for him. The Copenhagen side, no orbs for Anakez. Still trying to swing in for the entry frag, and TD gets it on CMB, because of course he does. It's Anakez. Kill found out second mid. In the flashes, all just sent by Tor. Getting detected by Bird from the Sky. There comes the kill. The boost goes unchecked, and they've not checked these catch off positions. The CTs have taken over the course of this map, be it cover your boost. Regali at least trades back of the Orpa. But a three on two situation. He's prioritized that bomb pod. Rawls has got to protect him. He gets the burst, sees the next two, needs to burst back as Regali's dropped this all on Rawls now. M4 and SMG, the two weapons rotating in from the A site, catch him off. And Eklot will make it 10 5 to close the CT side. Utility sent in from Feeder. The apps pop to come through from several uh, T side individuals. Borup, however, USP's picking up the frags. Valencio trades him back, but the next player at pit is undetected. CT's on rotate. He tries to plant down. Default, the USP's missing out the shots, but Regali connects it in the end. Feeder being spotted. Back there, TMB with support, and Regali taps up the head to make it a 2k. And TMB the and the T's have already crossed, they make their way in towards the A site crossfire. Bar up trying to focus on the player in apartments. That's Valencio with the MAC 10. Player on site backs off towards long. TMB still sat here on shorts. Catching off MBQ, not getting the kill against him. He's damaged up. The Deagle still holds back in mid control, but Regali deals with him. Now, this is still looking very promising, though, for Eklot. It's all about time stalling in the crossfires now. Smokes up against the pit players. Rolls with one. Daitor with the trade back. Looking in for a little bit more. Valencio's caught one with a Pomas picked up. MBQ strikes to Magali. Bird from Sky in a one on three. He's one, one clutch here on the A site. Can he win another? Sees where MBQ is. Here's the reload of Valencio, but the firepower differential. Well, 21 two. frags and 22 frags between those individuals. Drop the top of the board in the last map. Come back to that in a second because TMB is trying to get a little bit of that semblance of confidence back. Two kills for him. Bolt with another one out towards the long control. It's a three on two. He's got the AWP to come out to the apartments, but the city's got to reaggress. Out from Moto. Valencio's got a line up and there's two kills. Bird from Sky to trade it back and Anakas is low. It's another clutch for this man. Anakas Anika think that he's safe. He's going to run in with his knife out. Easy pick is the Bird from Sky. An all important round for the That play. might be the right call for Eklar. And not a bad position. Regali, though, is going to press what? again. But this time, he actually loses the fight. How have you lost that? 19 HP. That was a sitter and burn from Sky. About to walk right into the trap here. Walk right into the T side line. A flanking. Valencio's dealt with. Needs that back up, though. Dice on 6 HP. The USP's pulled out. And now Rawls backside with two kills. Needs to get Anakin's next 15 seconds. Back up is so far away. Still being stalled out by the speedway. Dice will drop. Anakin's left a clutch with a D. Versus the FAMAS. Anakin's. 
Nays back, Deagle facing, they'll face together, and the Deagle almost gets them both, but only one frag is found. TMB, but oh my god, TMB's in so much danger. As the rotators from long, Regali has catched off Daitor with a lineup for Anakes, is right there, and B site has an SMG to defend itself. Wait, if he holds his nerve and doesn't get checked, but he is, Feeder falls, Valencio trades it, there's that one for one. Again. Underdogs in these series just like. Just think about what we were saying prior to this uh, matchup. See him peeking and a bait off the position. So he falls back. They think Regali's here. No, they don't. Kill found. But he's unsupported. Molotov, the center was his direction. He'll hold caught off rolls. No shoulder peeking out. Close range. Anakin's wrapping that corner. And finally, someone can deal with him and his over aggression. TMB, M4. Standing by alongside Borat Ball is going to get called for the smoke. Dital takes the engagement. TMB is going to lurk here and wait 20 seconds. Time is of the essence. And Feeder comes up. TMB is known. He gets Dital. Needs to focus on Valencio. Low HP for the man. Also being crept upon by Feeder. He's reduced the HP bars in a two on two. But this is still winnable here for Rex. Dry faces. Bird from Sky going to try to be the opening man. Spot out Feeder. Where's Valencio? Last seen out towards Pit. Will now be seen again. Regali with a quick shot. Wasting no the time to get... from Sky, unknown. Gets found there, Rawls forced to trade. Rawls looking for a slight amount more. Feeder, just while that distraction's being pinned out from the Woodstack corner, thinks this is my chance to start swinging. It is still a couple of kills. And I can play right here at dark. Somehow isolates the frag on TMB. That's fantastic. I think he's heard both sets of footsteps as well. Regali isolated NBQ. Oh no. Bora looking to swing. NBQ's won it. The right oh, face is so ridiculous for Eklot. Nade sent. Rolls caught. Dytor not even taking any damage in that exchange. Seeing where TMB is. TMB can win a fight back as well. Provide covering fire. Grab that AK and continue pressing in banana control. Now this is Eklot just driving the quick brackets take, and it's all about the ramp. How much can TMB find? One kill found, sees the Orpa. Regali scout catches feeder next four on two. Suddenly, this round seems doable here, as Regali gets another pick on Valencio. TMB there to close it, and the Copenhagen... Oh, so is gonna get lost by Borup as a result of this. Sees NBQ, sees feeder, just spots Valencio, but does allow him pass. Died saw gets a little bit lucky there with the lack of ammo there in the magazine. Deagle brings up the triple. Paul has still been found. Valencio diving over the utility being sent. Incendio is back to try to press them. And TMB is going to mow down one. Daitor is going to go up in flames. The two for one trade for the flames. TMB has done well being there. Heard. He's trying to see if he can force out a mistake. Flash turned away from Valencio's in pit. Regardless, he's caught the middle up. Borup can now just turn his attention entirely on Valencio. Get that frag. And leave NBQ alone to catch the AWP player off. Back up has arrived towards Long, though. And finally, the con. Gali. Does get pressured by Pace, fast in from the pistol players, and they get two kills for it. NBQ with his 28th DMB does get the responsive, and Rawls needs to find some backup, but they're all in speedway. Two seen at library, one does drop. Three on three situation, the AWP firing TMB out in the open. Nays are sent, needs to get to harder cover. Will win that engagement. The flashes are also sent back into the T side line, but Valencio's orb will find the pick. Two on two, the bomb is down. Oh, but Free pin against Valencio. Spotted, sprayed, adjustment back towards the pit control. Rolls doesn't know! And Anakez will be there to close it. Make it one of his best battles. Valencio's before. the only player close towards ramp, and he's out there at the hell control. Those pistols in his MBQ does strike first, catching Borup with first blood drawn into that lobby control. Anakez quickly downstairs, looking for Bird from Sky, but will not be allowed the early start in this one. Four on four, Rolls goosed up the 38 HP. He's still alive, though. MBQ, MBQ is forced away. It's a retake on for Eklat. They're trying to come in from this fan position. So many T side players in for the double doors. Doing well for the CT side. Finally, a trade back from Regali. Let's get forced away, though. TM Minis provide support for the site itself. Regali drawing all their attention in towards the observation window. Two headshots to line up. One does come through. Feeder with a trade back, but TMB holds his nerve. A one on one. Low HP. Yeah. Stick it. Hold the line. TMB taking the swing. Open position. Almost missed the headshot, but does come good with uh, the kill. Can't get the adjustment there. The AWP. Damage being done, Dytor burning, eventually dealt with by TMB as the advantage tips the favour of Copenhagen Flames. Feeder is looking up towards heaven, a lot of noise is being made, but it's all distraction here from Bird from Sky. Does catch TMB, Bird from Sky going to wait back here at heaven, Valencia is going to creep around the backstab. Slowly but surely walk his way in, I don't think this was always being watched, it actually it is Bird from Sky, quick adjustment. Looking down at the hell Flying entrance, is very different to doing. Eklot. Right now, I'm only getting a couple picks here and there. NBQ has at least been able to carry on from the team around, though. He's hunting this player down. It's all 
all about timing. Out to the main wow. position, even reacts. MBQ. I mean, it looked as if he oh, was going to be... up, and TMB is going to flank them rather than giving chase to the AWP. Daitor catching one. Dealt with by Borup. Swing back in towards the site itself. Feed has been seen back towards the hot control. AWP might look to challenge him here. Not apparently. The information wasn't called. Now the kill's got to come in real quick. Someone's got to drop down towards bomb site. Valencia brings it into a 1v1. TMB might have to win the fight. Going for the bomb plant to the backside. Did he get it in time? Just about did. And now he's looking for the clutch for the 2k for whoever wins it. Valencia spotted. Quick swing on the jump face. TMB timed it right. And brings in Maybe six in a row. Maybe his crosshair is just like massive and he just didn't see the, the pixel. I don't know. Again, I can only guess. Rolls catching NBQ, kicks now, positional advantage. The timing on the T side is not fantastic. I think he's caught Borup though, indeed. That is a kill. Rolls also low HP. Hold the corner, wait for position, wait for the engagement to go his way, but the HP differential just too much. Nicely read there from Valencio. I worry about that position as well. Regardless, AWP set to cut down Valencio and indeed brings in the even man standing, but the CTs are working away forward. TMB sees two, Bird from Sky gets them both. And Anake is set towards outside catching Regali. Seven HP with no kit though, no time to go for this. And no presence of mind to find Bird from Sky. He will hold on to the big green. And doesn't connect the shot back. Smokes and mollies come in. He still can't hit the kill. And now the player at Silo is going to catch him with his back turn. TMB gets the orbit to fall. Inbound a lobby. Three of which have made their way ahead of Squeaky Door. Feeder takes an age to register it. Dysaur can at least get one trade back, but struggling against Bob eventually gets that pick in his backup has fallen towards Hemant. The AWP Regali gets it, but NBQ on the flank dealt with by the AWP. Dysaur still stands at the triple. Low HP, the reloads back in. Looking for Regali next to Deagle firing. Needs to connect one shot. That's exactly what he does. Triple in the round. Feeder's going to try and make amends here with the Deagles spotting TMB already. Dytor's got the M4 set right behind him. Part of a force invest here. Kind of a hero stub of rifle set up here for the CT side. And he just can't get anything done with it now. TMB finds the frag. Utility. You don't have a kit. You don't have players quick on rotate. Valencia's trying to get a weapon up towards the roof. Not to be. Small picks coming his way. So difficult to get back to main, right? Um, yeah, and it cares. AWP posted it. Adali <laughs> wins the fight. Oh, it just... It's, <laughs> what do you do at that oh, point? Even the flash comes through perfectly timed. Knife pulled out. Borup's going to get the frag for it. That was easy. Offered up by Valencia. Really be critical on the series as an overall picture. It's just Copenhagen Flames on, on map two. I think other than that, you can't, you can't be too critical for anything else that's happened on map one and map three. NBQ getting another pick back on TMB, trying to hold some resistance. Eklot. This is weird. If, but with the way the Flames have played, he's back over 10 rules. Catch them off guard. Get that one pick. Bird from Sky tagged up, giving Valencio a four on three trade. Yeah, this looks very promising for Eklot. Open egg and flames on a contact. Saying die tour and bark just deals with him. Great adjustment there on the entry. So quick to respond. The rafters unchecked though. MBQ gets two picks. Looks for Regali next to makes it a triple. And at long last, MBQ trying to catch someone at the gap. Anakes is going to get MB uh, TMB to kick things off. So that's the start for the CTs again. Bird from Sky also seen drops out to the M4. And that spam was working out drops pretty out towards not. secret. Slow in, gets the kill against Feeder. NBQ with a responsive. The AWP can't hit his shot. And now Borup sneaks Borup's in. going to hear that heaven rotation. Try and drop the AWP. Anakin is dropping in and straight into the hands of Borup. One pick back, but Regali falls towards outside. Bomb dropped in the CT crossfire. 20. Swing in. M4 caught by Rawls. That's the opening advantage. And now just more pressure with the Eklot. nade. Regali is low. Borup is grabbed providing covering fire. Trying to find this AWP player. But Valencio trades it. Borup, meanwhile, leads the charge down to the B site. Bomb should commit and should get planted. A bird from Sky was just pulling distraction to help that bomb cross out. And again, Lovely. quick gets caught. Titor to the left-hand side. And Copenhagen Flames make mincemeat of them. Molly's in. NBQ. Lost away. Ditor does catch the frag. It was outside. A double up found against Rules. Okay, Eklot. Still finding life, still finding some of these picks back. NBQ next up. TMB to full. Anakes wall bang on Borup. And now Regali is all alone. forcing forward though. And then quite deep, so he still holds out to the stairs. Gets one kill, Borup with a response. And now it's just an explosion. 
Now notice that this the observation window. Smoked off as well. Main City contact shot missed out. MBQ gets the responsive rolls, trades it, puts a flashbang through the door, gets against the AWP. MBQ in the love response, but now he's the last player left. Borab standing on site. TMB is trying to get here through vents. MBQ opens the door to his surprise, gets a pick back, but time's too far ticked. And go to USP center of the site. Eklock quickly towards the outside across their own pistol players. TMB locks out that first pick. Leaves against MBQ. The trades are coming in for him and Dytor, so the advantage sits with Eklock here. MBQ is can't quite tell. The players coming in from Ventat uh, challenged on by Regali. Good headshot. Taps up. Pops that bomb. Feeder with a tray back. And power up slowly closes in the pincers. MBQ is watching it and he gets his pick. Birth from Sky downstairs in the lower bomb site. This best of three. He's been so impactful on map two and in the third. And even getting that last kill onto Bird from Sky. So again, now the we margins don't... favor Copenhagen Flames at this stage. The opening frag still don't go. Valencio spraying through smoke Cash. undetected. M4 lean. Borup's going to get a kill. A double up in fact. Bird from Sky with extra support. Anakin drops into the two on two. Doubles up back to the rafters. Eight seconds. Dice all going to grab that bomb. Oh, he's setting Is... AWP down at lower. He's going to be the first port of call. There's the opening frag. And just reposition instantly. Get out towards that default position. Now, Eklot. He's that quick. So they'll be able to act as soon as they spot out this lobby control. Rouse does eventually get the kill, and now they've got to start getting rotates down to lower. It'll be Larry again with the Deagle mission. Forward spot one, MBQ got tagged. AWP's watching for it. Kill up. Two left standing, but from Sky, has got one more feeder being pressured by nades and pistols and rifles and all sorts. The knife's even pulled out here, but Bird from Sky gets the kill. That is a four-man steal for Copenhagen. Some sort of opening frag. TMB's ready, though. The tags are heard. Bird from Sky receiving fire, but the spray goes all over the place. Stabilized way too late. And the opening... will do a bit of bad damage towards Anakes. Double doors opened up. Feeder does strike. Smokes and mollies. Backside engagement. There's Rawls denying the first. Can't deny the bomb plant, though. Anakes sneaks it in. Four on three still for the CTs. Dytor, however, in upper sight catches Regali. The retake is on. It tips the favor of Eklo. Rawls being evaded alongside Borup coming in bound now. NBQ with his bat turned. Flash is sent into him. He's completely blinded. There's the kill. Back to a two on two. Kits on both. Smokes on neither. Got to go in with the kills. Rolls protected. Anakes moves up. The fuse being stuck. There's the engagement. Borup has to win the fight instead. Anakes stalling for time. He's back on it, but Borup hasn't got any more left in this one. Back in the way. AK. Set in play. Anakes leaning in. It's TMB. Finds the kill against MBQ. That's a start. Feeder spotted. No entity. Swing spray, Anakes can't get a pick, Bird from Sky swings back, Valencio caught, Borup responds, looks for the double up, Dytor and TMB continue going back and forth, Feeder now left in a one on three, gets that first, grabs that ball and makes the... Two players to find, one swings out and rolls, puts him down, Diffuse, not kick required, go that little bit further, do that little bit extra, smokes back, sprays blinded by Borup, no one's going to check that closed vent corner, finally he does get isolated and overwhelmed, Bird from Sky, backside alongside Rolls and the rafters, drops that bomb. Valencio, MBQ, feeder down, USP, knees back Can't up. And deal with a close quarters combat. Back turn, checks it, Anakes with one, not quite two. Rolls and Bird from Sky He's hold the, the line. Because he can hear those rotations smoke against him. And a hard top to combine. MBQ picks up the kill and Bora gets the spray back to the trade. Oh, player out towards a single door and now towards the double. Have now found a couple of kills. This should be right, an instant M4 save. will lead the charge. Regali's all posted at double doors. One over extension. Gives up a kill. Bird from Sky catches Valencio to five on three. And Dytor's hoping to catch Perhaps. a rose. Leaning in a decon. TMB is going to get caught by MBQ, but Regali's not missing. And Dytor needs MBQ to get back here as well. Yeah. I think it's working here. No place. A lot of observation. MBQ's caught. Bomb plant will be secured. And a one on four for Dine against Regali. The York is checking it and he lands it. There it is at long last for Copenhagen. Flames, a bit of resistance from Eklop.